Hello everybody, Great Steel Plays, and we're here with a new game for the channel called Kingdoms and Castles. No time for BS. So Kingdoms and Castles was a game that I got turned on to by a couple of my buddies. This is a game that is currently an alpha. You'll notice it says Alpha 3. Uh, some of you may have heard of it, some of you may not have. It basically got developed through crowdfunding, and I'm going to leave links in the description to the game and kind of where that's happening at. The base game looks like it's going to be around $10 if you look at the crowdfunding. Um, I went ahead and uh, pitched in a little bit more so that I could show you guys this now. There's Gray spending money so you don't have to. But uh, I gotta tell you, it's, it's something I really kind of lost myself in. This is a really neat little game. So as it, as it obviously sounds like, this is a game where you are going to build a kingdom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start things off right here. It's got a really cute little low poly style and the game has a lot like for an alpha right now That's just like crowdfunded It has an impressive amount of content in it and just messing around trying to like learn the systems in it I found myself I played for like an hour and I was like, oh my god I need to stop. I need to actually record this stuff So here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna choose a region right now. There's no Vinter which is the hard region. That's like where there's short hot summers, long brutal winters, and more raiders and dragons. We're gonna do the uh, the middle one here. I don't wanna do the one with no threats. I'd really like to be able to show you guys maybe some of the threats eventually. We're not gonna see them right off the bat, but if you guys want me to keep playing this game, feel free to let me know and we'll keep checking it out. This is really, it's just a really neat little relaxing game. Let's just get right into it and you'll kind of understand. So the very first thing is you're treated with a map and the maps are procedurally generated and you can click on change to, you know, change up your maps if you want to. This is a very strange and at the same time very cool map. Um, we've got a lot of water on this map. Look at this. We have like this river almost going straight through the middle of our little continent. Now there's a couple of different resources in this game. There are, uh, obviously you can see there's little land squares here. You have barren ones, which are these light colored ones, fertile ones, which are these light green colored ones, and then very fertile ones, which are like these very dark green colored ones. Then you have stone, but the stone that you can gather has to be this light colored stone, not the darker kind of colored stone. And then you have trees, which you get for wood, of course. And then eventually through like building different parts of your castle, you can tax people and gain coins and stuff as well. This is a cool map, but I just want to show you guys a couple more maps. So even if we don't get a map as good as this, I'll just cry myself to sleep later. Let's continue to chip. Wow, that's a lot of water. Holy cow. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, now, there are water things that exist in the game, which is cool. So before, water was just kind of like potentially a dead area, but now you can build over it. Uh, let's see. That looks okay. This looks like a pretty sweet one. The only issue is, well, it's good that there's some quarries over here. Now that there's bridges, you can pretty much build anywhere you want to. Let's check. Wow, look at this. Look at this area right here, boys. Holy crap. We've got three. Is that three or four? We have four areas that we can mine stone from and then a huge forest over here. I kind of like this. I think that we're going to go ahead and build here and we have a nice barren area where we can build uh, some of our settlement. Now in this, you notice in this, there's not quite as many like super fertile lands, but I think we'll survive. Um, ooh, all the really fertile stuff is like way over here. Hmm. Oh, we do have some very fertile lands over here, so that's not that bad. Oh, you know what? We could even build right over here and kind of sprawl into this territory. I don't know. It's, it's a kingdom generator. Let's just accept it. And we'll do what we do. Um, you know what I mean? I, I went and I looked up a lot of, uh, so that people didn't yell at me in my style of building, uh, kingdoms. <laughs> I looked up a bunch of medieval kingdom styles, and what I found was that, uh, people pretty much did whatever they want. And I mean, like, realistic medieval kingdoms. Like, I, I went and I tried to see what people used to do back in the day. So here's our very first item. It's a keep, and we gotta put it wherever we want to. I think I'm going to put it, what do we have? We have some very, well, we have a lot of very fertile land right over here. And I do kind of want to keep the very fertile land next to um, like a farm area and next to the keep. We're gonna put our little keep right here for right now. You're gonna see, we start off with four dudes and they're gonna be building things right off here. Now, we're on the base, like, speed setting, and the speed settings are pretty quick. You can kind of move over a little bit if you want. Look at these low-poly clouds. 
they're cool. And, and like, as you go closer to them, look how they get out of the way. It's kind of nice. I really like that. Like, it's amazing how some games don't even do that automatically. Like, they keep this crap in your face and you can't get out of here. So we've got some advisors now. You can click on them. Look at these faces. Look at these mugs looking at you, man. Oh, God. Good day, sire. We need some farms. Good day, sire. We need some roads and houses. And uh, the military lady just says good day. Well, good day, mate. Let's go ahead and start building some roads and houses. So roads are kind of like the infrastructure to the entire game. Uh, you can move things back and forth with the uh, center mouse button, just kind of scrolling. So let's go ahead and start building some. We're going to build some uh, this way for a couple reasons. One, it's going to go right out to a nice quarry here, which is quite nice. But also it's going to head out to these farms. There's a certain distance that you're allowed to build um, away from the... Uh, away from the roads. I think it's like maybe two tiles worth. Let's go ahead and finish that right there. Okay, now that we have a few of those down, you can see we have a little bit of wood. Not much though, so we have to, uh, you know, we're gonna have to do what we can here. Let's go over to town and we'll build a hovel. Takes five trees for this. I do want to make sure that my little hovel has its door facing. Okay, good. And, um, do I want to put it like right next to the keep? That would, that feels kind of weird. Let's, uh, let's just put it here for right now. We'll just do that. Like I said, I'm probably just thinking into this a little bit too much. While they're doing that, we need to continuously be chopping down trees. So there's a couple trees over here and a couple trees over here. The one thing I'd like to see, maybe I don't know how to do it and there is a way, is I'd like to see you be able to like click on or like click and drag and, and do like a lot of trees all at once. That would be fantastic. So back over here to the economy, we need some farms immediately. And we're going to go ahead and do that right quick. Uh, we're going to do a farm here. And let's see, how many can we get? There we go. Now we're getting a little bit more wood. So that's good. It costs three trees for a farm. So we'll do one there. And then we'll do one there for right now. And we have insufficient resources for anything else. So we'll let our dudes kind of just chop down some trees. Now, the other thing that we're eventually going to want... In fact, I'm going to show you guys a lot of these things while they're just kind of chopping and stuff like that. You can see, even in the castle structure... There are a lot of, like, base pieces for the for the castle. There's, there's a ballista tower, an archer tower. Uh, you know what we got over here? We got our chamber of war, a great hall. In the town section, there's quite a few things. We got a pier over here, which is kind of nice. And then also, look, that's a hospital. That's pretty cool. And we have a lot of economy buildings. Um, so I do want to get into a lot of those. But for right now, we need to make sure that we get our... Uh, our, our food production up. Because right now we have 19 food, but uh, we're not making any more. Now our dudes are, uh, I don't know what they're doing, man. I guess they're chilling the fields. This is what I was talking about. Kind of like that really, that really adorable little style of, uh, of, I don't know, uh, polygons there. Very neat. So right now we only have enough space for four people. We do have one person that's idle though. So let's kind of just, uh, I'm just going to put down a couple more pieces of wood here to chop. I do want to get that going. Now, there's a reason that I'm making my farms in this way. In the middle, we can put something called a windmill. And I really like the windmill because it increases the efficiency of all your farms. Also, you can kind of like click and drag and move all over the place. You can zoom way out to see the whole continent. Or you can basically zoom in into like people's doorsteps. Okay, so you can get pretty damn close. Uh, over here, what are they saying right now? Click on an advisor. We'll need farms. Okay, so nothing new right now. If we can... Let's see if we can get a quarry going, and we can. If you notice, we can put it right over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get a quarry started right in here. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm probably going to want to put down a... I'm trying to think about where I want to do it. I'm going to want to put down a windmill just because, A, I think windmills are cool, and B, they legitimately do do things for the actual game, which is cool. There's also an orchard here that we can eventually make, which is pretty sweet. But for right now, let's just kind of focus on, like, getting our food taken care of. Uh, as a matter of fact, from what I've seen, the more food, the better. Let's go ahead and build another farm right now. I'm going to build it in this hyper-fertile land right over here. And let's see here. What else do I want to do? I think if I'm allowed to put one here, I may put down... A, a windmill. Let's see what it takes. It takes 35 stone for the windmill. So we're going to be a little while for this windmill anyway. So I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. And destroying these things is very easy. Uh, you just demolish it and that's pretty much it. Right here it tells you how much output we're getting per year. So 16 food output. We're getting a high uh, soil fertility. Giving us a big plus 6. So that's, that's actually quite nice. Um, 
So the big thing is we're going to need more people to, to legitimately build stuff. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, let's see here. Do we have enough trees to get another hobble? We don't. So let's start just chopping down some more trees here. We'll get a nice tree chopped down over here. A nice tree chopped down over there. You got, we want to make sure we don't really have anyone being idle or anything like that. The other thing that I'd like to get going is a forestry. And the reason why for the forestry is because if we do that, like a lot of the stuff will happen automatically. Over here you can see happiness. Basically the happiness is what's going to allow people to come into our village and want to stay here. So we're going to want to keep that happiness level up a little bit as well. For right now, though, let's just get focused on gaining a couple resources so that we can make some more little hovels. There we go. Now we have enough to finally make another hovel, which is good. I think that the hovels automatically kind of start looking toward the road, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, they do. Let's put another hovel over here for right now. No big deal. That's going to give us twice as many people, and we're going to need those as well. Um, because like I said, the biggest thing is like a balance. You want to balance food resources and like people you don't want to grow too fast so you don't have enough food to feed everyone but right now we're at a point where this is enough food we have plenty of food right now our little guys tilling the fields are doing just fine you can see this one doesn't even have anyone uh doing anything in it right now because we only have a couple of people that are idle this person right here is stone cutting so you can see i think that the um you can click on anyone and kind of find out so we have foley Avaya, we have D. Chuhei, this can have, I think, up to four people working in it, so quite a few people, so for right now, because we're not going to need the stone at this time, let's go ahead and close this and let them finish on the hovels, we're probably going to want maybe another hovel even after this, and then that should be plenty of people and plenty of food to get us through things like the winter, this is the winter, um, the winter looks cool, the only thing that I feel a little bit about it is almost like it's too white. I don't know. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like, it's very difficult to see anything but because everything is just so sterile looking. I mean, it's a cool look. And it only la I mean, you guys saw it. It only lasted for like 20 seconds. But still, it took too long to store our harvest. Some of it was ruined by the winter. Uh, build a granary. Okay. And you can see, too, we have like a ton of food. Like, uh, like literally a ton of food. I don't even have enough place to put it all. So really getting this done is going to be super important. Okay, cool. So now we can house more people. That's going to be important. And in fact, if we can get a little bit more wood, which I think we'll go ahead and do by just chopping down a couple more of these trees. I'm going to get some of these trees kind of over here as well. Um, I think what we'll go ahead and do... Go ahead and get one more over here. There we go. I think what we'll go ahead and do is focus on building another little hovel for our guys. We want the best possible kingdom we can have. We can also speed things up by clicking on this. This is kind of a good speed to be on. I wanted to stay a little bit on the regular speed just to kind of like be able to, you know, move around and show you guys some stuff. There it is, boys. There's the very first part of our... Oh, look at this. Four people but uh, four people visited, but only four decided they would stay. Well, that's, that's 100%. We're batting 1,000, boys. <laughs> that's exactly what we want. Uh, we grow more, uh, more food than we can store. Okay. Oh, we're also getting a ton of wood, which is awesome. Uh, we, we do want a granary, but I'm also going to open this back up. So that's another thing that you can do, which is kind of cool. You can open and close things like as quickly as you want, which is uh, pretty legit. Kind of like that. Um, let's see what else we can build now that we have quite a bit of wood. Uh, we can build a well once we have 10 stones, so we do want that quarry to get going. Uh, let's see what else here. We can't do any of that yet. Uh, well, we can build the orchard. Um, but really, I think what I'm going to want to do is build this forestry. That's going to be super important. You can see right over here. The granary, just the small one, takes five stone. So, I do want to get that granary, but we're going to need stone. And should I do the granary or the forester first? Let's do the granary first, I think. Um, now, we want to put our granary fairly close to where our, um, our, our, I don't know, our crops are, I guess I'll say. So, I think I'm going to put it right here. Reason why is I think I'm going to put a windmill right over there. Um, that should be fine for the moment. Like, the best possible area to put a windmill would be, like, right here. Because then we can put farms all around it. Um, and I may even do that. You know what? I know what we'll do. We'll put a granary over here. That's where we're going to do it. Yep. I've decided it. Just now. 
Just now. Boom. Granary's going down. Make it my plebeians. My beautiful plebs. Put it all together. Sir, the peasants are mostly fine, but we can do better. Try examining a house to see how we can improve their conditions. Okay. So right over here, it says it gives them a base happiness of 50. They have road access, which is good, but they want a well and they want neighbors. So people don't want to just like sit around not having anyone near them. I think that that's pretty cool. Um, so fine. Let's go ahead and give them some neighbors then. Uh, we can make a couple more hovels if we want to. I wasn't going to utilize these areas, but now I think why not? I think the reality is, is that we're probably going to want to make the best use of the areas that we can. Let me think about this a second over here. I, w I do want to make more. Yeah, we're going to put a hovel over here. Um, uh, this is eventually where I do want to make all of my fields and my uh, windmill right over here. Gonna, in fact, this entire area is going to be a little farming stead. That's what we're going to do. So for right now, home, boom. Get it done, my, my men. I want more beds. We've got eight of eight right now, which isn't bad. Oh, wow. Our stone has been on the rise, boys. That's exactly what we wanted. So it is forestry time. And you're going to notice we can't build a forestry over here. Why is that? Because we need some roads. No big deal. Let's go ahead and make some. Uh, let's see. We can go right over to our economy and we'll throw down some roads. Make it like this and like this. And then we can make a bridge as a matter of fact. You need roads to connect uh, bridges like that there. So there we go. So now once these roads are built, we will legitimately be able to have an area where we can put down a forestry. And I don't feel bad about putting it over here because there's nothing over here else that we can use. There's some pretty fertile land over here, but we can't use the stone at all. Um, so right now, no one's building anything. So what we're going to want to do is close this right there. See that? We have a lot of stone right now anyway. And everyone's going to start just like rushing to get stuff done. We are going to want a storage area like super fast as well. I bet they're going to yell at me for it. Uh, we're still losing excess food, but I see a granary is under construction. You see correctly, my advisor. A granary is under construction. In fact, I think it will be constructed in no time flat. It's got three of three builders on it. I think this one probably only has one of three. It is. So right over here on the granary, this should be going up in just a second. You can see how long it takes just because it looks like they're waiting on a couple pieces of stone. We just got another house done, which is sweet. So go ahead, boys, and get that stone in there. We want that granary made, guys. Waiting on two stones. Okay, go ahead and pull those stones in, guys. We got uh, the winter is, is upon us. But again, very, very simplistic winter right now. No big deal. Look at this guy walking through the frozen water. Oh, no. My poor man. These are hardy, gentle folk, though. Out here in the brutal country of midfield. This is where we, this is where we survive as, as survivors. I don't know. People visited the kingdom, but none saw fit to stay. Okay. We do have enough room for another bunch of people. Something that we're going to want to do immediately, and I am going to do this right now, is develop a well. And we want our well to be able to service many of the folk. So where do I want to put my well? I'd like to put it in an area with barren, with kind of like barren fertile area. Um, I think I may put it right here, perhaps. That'll give... Now, you do want your well to have to be, like, right in the middle of town because stuff will catch on fire <laughs> in this game. And if they don't have access to a well, it can be not very fun. So let's go ahead and throw a well there. I may even throw, uh, throw a second well right there. But you can see right there, it says it, ha it gives you access to uh, fire protection. I think that this body of water over here also gives us access, so it is kind of nice to have this there. The well's also going to increase. Look at our happiness jut up because the well's coming down. Right now, back to the economy. Over here to the for, um, the forester, we need more trees, though. So let's go ahead and get rid of a couple of these. Get rid of a couple of these trees. We're going to chop this one down as well. Go ahead and get those trees down, my men. I would appreciate it. We are at 8 of 12 right now. I could probably shut down the quarry again. Uh, oh, the quarry's already shut down. So these guys should be, like, rushing over here to start pulling down these trees. Yes! Okay, good. That's gonna do it. Forestry. I'm gonna put it... Yeah, I'm gonna put it right at the end of the bridge. All that you need for the forestry is an area where you can have some trees. Um, as far as I know. So I don't think that putting it anywhere really allows you to get, like, more or less trees or anything like that. So it's not a huge deal. Um, and I don't mind. We can put it right over here. We can put, like, we can put, like, more bridges or roads. or We can do whatever we want, man. 
It's our game. Look at the seagulls. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get in on this. Look at these seagulls right here. Or just, I don't know, migratory birds flocking around. We also have are those waves. Oh, we do. We have waves on the shore side. Nice. All right. My little township of midfield. Go forth. We're going to need a better name for our town. I think that we can name it whatever we want. Yeah, we sure can. Let me know, guys. Let me know what we should name this thing, and we'll go ahead and do it. Sorry it took too long to store harvests. Uh, some of it was ruined. How is this granary not yet built? Is it because we're still waiting on some stone or something like that? It says that they are. That's very, very odd, though. Looks like there's a man here kind of, like, working on it, I think. Look at him. He looks like he's working hard. Um, we're, we are going to have to worry a little bit about food as well. Because right now, like, everyone's been building so much that, like, there's not a ton of food going on. Look at these guys going the long way for this. It's very interesting. Why don't you guys, uh, why don't you guys, like, maybe go around this way? We can put some new roads in here, perhaps. But, uh, for right now, let's go ahead real quick and just get this granary fixed up. Alright, we've got quite a few people now. We need to start thinking about making, uh, more ways to get food. An orchard would be pretty cool. We haven't messed around with one yet. You notice here it needs to be fairly close to the uh, the roadways and it also needs to be fairly fertile let's go ahead and put it out here there's just enough fertility where it's pretty good oh i can't see anything right now oh boy uh yeah we'll go ahead and throw it right here that'll put it right next to the forestry area too and it kind of makes sense that like all the trees stay somewhat close you know what i mean so that's just fine you can see right now everyone's a bit hungry see those little those little things above their head right there they're kind of annoyed right now. They don't have a way to eat. I'm going to close this real quick just to kind of get everyone moving around so they start working on the orchard. And while they're working on the orchard, I will probably make another farm. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to put a farm? I do want to put a farm right over here. So we will put one right there, and that should help out a little bit. Remember, we're going to put our, um, we're going to put our windmill right about here, I do believe. So for right now, let's just let's just get our food issue kind of taken care of. You can see everyone is like super pissed off. Right over here though, food production's happening. These areas are going to be finished in just a little bit. The granary still not underway. I really want to get this fixed up. And I'm not sure why people aren't taking it seriously to get it built. You can see like it looks it almost looks like there's a dude who's like almost involved in it, but he's not quite there yet. Let's see if we can get this food in. Come on, boys, grab that food and bring it inside. Now we do want to get a, uh, it is good to have this granary, man, because it being so much closer is going to make our gentle people like not have to go the long way to bring all this food in. You see right now, they kind of like do this weird little jig where they dance around the backside. Kind of annoying. We need to get that fixed up. There we go. Our granary is built. I think I was just building it in the wrong spot. It was really weird. Let me show you guys. When I tried to put it over here, it constantly got stuck on having uh, two logs or uh, two pieces of stone left. So I decided to put it right over here. Look at the cap. <laughs> Look at the, that's funny. <laughs> it like cracks open like a freaking treasure, a treasure chest or something. That's awesome. Um, man, look at how much wooden stone we have right now. That is really, really good. Let's check this out over here. Uh, sorry, it took too long to harvest. Uh, it was ruined. By the winter, improving paths to a granary would help. So yeah, having this granary here is going to be very, very important. Um, as a matter of fact, like I said, just, just this. Look at that. Look at how much quicker now they can get the food in instead of having to go this weird way down behind. That's going to help out a lot. And even our guys over here with apples and stuff like that. Oh yeah, we're getting a ton of wood now, or a ton of food now. So now we can start really kind of focusing on other things. Um, we can build stockpiles. Ooh, we can build a big stockpile. A big stockpile would be nice. How close do I have to make this to anything? Let's go check this out over here. Where am I allowed to put this, I wonder? We should probably start building more roads. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's start building a road. Let's see here. Where do I want to build my road? I think I'm going to build my road out this way. Well, that is su super fertile land. Well, there's fertile land all around here. Let's start building a road out this way because there's more quarry stone out here if we want it. So let's do that. I'm going to turn it onto normal speed right now. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go... Where do I want to do it? Let's do it... Um, let's do it from here. Right like this. There we go. 
right through kind of all this barren land right here. And then eventually if we want to, we can kind of like turn a little corner like this and put it right there on the quarry. But the big thing about this is that once these roads are prepared, we're going to be able to get down our stockpile area, which is something I'm really going to want. While we're at it, we have plenty of food right now to support another person. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Oh, wow. Look at this. Houses the most peasants, demands charcoal, provides more taxes. We don't have a lot of taxes right now. Oh, we can build a tavern. For right now, let's just like, let's just worry about getting more people in. So I couldn't build, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really curious. I couldn't build the, uh, that like, uh, granary here. So I wonder, oh, it, oh, it's built sideways. I see, okay. All right, we've got the very first portion of the cottage down. Everyone's just kind of working hard right now. You can click on any object and it will show you how much the output is. And if you see right now, this is kind of like where we're stockpiling all the wood. If we do make ourselves a nice stockpile, uh, which I think I'm going to make over here right on this side. If we do mark ourselves a nice little stockpile, that's going to help out because everything will be really centralized. So that's actually going to be really, really sweet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off our quarry right now. Again. Uh, we have got 44 stone, so we've got plenty of stone right now. This way, everyone gets to work over here, making these roads and making this brand new cottage. Because this cottage, I think, is going to house like eight people. And eight new people in our little kingdom is really going to help things out. I like this, though. We've got an orchard over here in the back part of the castle. We've got our very first portion of, like, a little town going. Pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up just a little bit. Our advisors, I'm sure, have plenty to yell at me about. Really? I thought our granary would be doing pretty good. Ooh, if we build a town square, we could throw festivals. I'm sure the peasants would like that. Those dirty peasants. I'm sure they would. We need plenty. Of, speaking of wood, we need plenty of wood to keep this cottage going right here. You can see it's 22. The food is still rolling in. Rolling in, baby. We're rolling in it. I love it. 13 wood to get this done, boys. Come on now. Get it all going. You can see right over here. Dudes are starting to put food into the granary, probably because our castle is full up on uh, on apples and such right now. Only four more pieces of wood to get this thing completed. You can see they're coming in right now, and boom! There we go. So they want charcoal for heating and cooking. They want well access, and they want neighbors. Okay. So for right now, though, let us do what we wanted to do before, which was make a stockpile. Uh, looks like the stockpile... I don't like... The only thing I don't like is how when I'm trying to move the... Um, the entirety of the game, like it stops me. Uh, I think I'm gonna make this stockpile over here. As a matter of fact, we can also make it out this way. You know what? Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna build more roads out this way and then I'm gonna make the stockpile over here. That's what I feel like doing, damn it. We're gonna build it right through the, uh, the very, the very plentiful, the very plentiful, uh, fertile land over here. It's all right. I think we'll be fine, guys. I think we'll be able to deal with it. And then I think what we'll do... You talked me into it. I changed where our roads were. Now it's a little bit more symmetrical. <laughs> uh, why do I let you guys talk me into this stuff? Alright, stockpile. Let's freaking get her done. Stockpile, gonna put it right over here, I do believe. I do want to leave some room um, back in here because I'd like to put probably another building over there. I don't know. Um, we could also build this all the way over here. You know what? I am going to build it over here because I may make another quarry over here. And plus this quarry is right over here as well. So let's go ahead and get that stockpile done. That's going to help out just plenty. And building this way is probably a good idea because there is a lot of forests and a lot of stone in this direction. There's a decent amount of stone over here as well. Like there's the cool thing about this map is that there's no bad way to build. Like legitimately every single direction that we build in is going to be fantastic. See right over here? 67 happiness. 12 of 24 beds, so we're going to want more people pretty soon. Oh, let's go grab ourselves a charcoal maker. If you remember, we want one of those. This guy wanted it kind of like in his backyard. So that's where we'll go ahead and put it. We'll put it down. We'll put it down like like literally right in his backyard. I don't know what I want to build here yet, if anything. um, Yeah, I want to leave a little space there, though. Let's build it right there. That should be fine. And then how's our stockpile doing? Yes! Yes! Do do the stockpiling, boys. Do as I command. You can make as many roads as you want, realize, as well. Like, you can have roads wrapping all the way around here if you want. All kinds of stuff. Wow, 17 people. 
Okay, so the food production is still fantastic though. In fact, if I click on this, how good is this output? Wow, 55 food per year. We have uh, a plus three because we have mastery workers and then a plus 12 because of the fertility level that we put it down on. Oh, it's so fertile. So fertile and delicious. Let's put some new castle stuff down though. If we do a throne room, we can start taxing people, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and open up our quarry. This way we don't have anyone being idle. Plus, we're going to want more stone anyway. Oh yeah, man. These are, we are just making food like freaking gangbusters right now. This is fantastic. Look at all the logs, man. Stockpiles working out pretty good. What is this? Oh, that's our, um, look at this. This is our charcoal thing. Produces one charcoal per year. So if we click on this now. Uh, wants access. It's got well access. Dislikes the smoke from the charcoal maker. Oh, all right. So the charcoal almost needs to be like away from people. Um, okay, let's go ahead and demolish this real fast. Let's, I've never messed around with the charcoal maker. So let's put the charcoal maker like away from people. Um, so like, how about if I put it out here for instance? Now it's two tiles away. It, well, at least two tiles away from any housing. We'll see what happens if we put it here. I'm really curious. Um, let's see. Is anyone working on this? I think there's at least one guy working on this. There's one lone man. One lone man working on this charcoal maker. And it takes... Wow, it takes 12 logs to make the charcoal maker. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, let us, as we often do, let us shut this down real quick. I want this charcoal maker built, like, now. So, get working on it, boys. Do that charcoal maker. Get it, get it, get it. Now, now, now. Five on five. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, finishing it up, and bing, it is done. Let's go ahead and open our quarry back up. Okay, so now that we have the charcoal maker. Let's see here. Charcoal heating and cooking is four. Good. Charcoal heating and cooking is zero. So, but it looks like they're still pretty happy that, that it's not right behind them. So we're probably going to need more than one charcoal maker. You can see right here, these people like the charcoal maker. It's giving them a plus four. Uh, over here, these guys are enjoying it. It's giving them a plus four. So a good potential place for another charcoal maker would probably be... It has to be somewhere where it's right, where it's not right next to everyone, but they still have access to it. So I think I'm going to worry about that in a little bit. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're idle. We don't have enough stuff for everyone to do. So let's build more economy in there, have you? All right, boys, let's get our windmill down. I know I had wanted one of those. And I guess I can put down more of the fields. Right now, the windmill is only going to be affecting like one single field. Um, I'm probably going to demolish all these and put fields um, all around here. You can see this little house over here is actually in the way. I moved our windmill over one. This way, it can, we can have access to two fields and we'll have almost all perfect uh, high fertile areas. Again, we're generating so much food that it's really not like a big deal or anything like that. Uh, we can also do another quarry if we wanted to. Are we really low on anything right now? Um, I guess stone, but we haven't had someone working in the stone areas all the time. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's start building, like, taverns and stuff like that. We haven't gotten any of those done. Over here in town, got a tavern. Consumes food, but improves happiness. So where would it be a good place for a tavern? I don't, like, want it, like, right next to everyone, but I do kind of want people to have access to it if they want it. Uh, maybe if we put it, yeah, let's put it, like, right over here somewhere. Yeah, like, right, not right next to these guys. In fact, you know what? Let's put it right here. Yeah, well, let's put it right here. We'll put that right there, and then we'll put another kind of road going out here, and then we should still be able to have a quarry looped around this way. In fact, let's keep our roads going all the way through here. Plus, we're going to have a sto uh, stockpile area right over there, so that's going to be pretty sweet as well. So let's make roads wrapping all through here. And then we'll probably put our quarry right in back in here. I'm going to do that right now. Let's see if I can put one down. Quarry. Uh, and I kind of want it facing the roadway like that. There we go. Excellent. Okay, that should work out perfect. Now everyone has something to do. There's no one idle. We've got 24 out of 24 beds filled. And there you go, man. There's just a little look at the game. And like I said, this is just like a very quick glance. Like this is just the very, very beginning of the game. We have a tiny, tiny little hamlet right now. You know what I mean? We've got 24 people. 
We've got a couple of quarries right now, which is awesome. So we're going to be generating quite a bit of food and stuff like that. Look at this. We got our windmill going. If we click on this, I, I'm curious what the windmill is doing right now. Uh, base output. Oh, hold on. This one's going to need the windmill. Oh, wow. A plus three for the windmill. So the windmill is very, very worth it. And like, look at this. Our town actually looks kind of legit. I kind of like it. Looks pretty cool. Huh? Oh, no. The only thing I don't like is that our tavern is facing the wrong way. Oh, no. I'm going to have to make our tavern face the other way because the door has to be facing the roadway. We'll do that next episode, guys. Anyway, I hope you folks enjoyed Kingdoms and Castles. Very neat little game. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.